Hi, welcome back. Now, before we meet my next guest, get in touch with my team if you are in an age gap relationship. We're looking for couples who are very much in love and see age as just a number. Have people called you names like Grave or Gold Digger or Cradle Snatcher? And have you had to turn the other cheek? Now, you're happy and you're in love. Well, share your situation with us. Phone us on 0870 880 6666. That number again, 0870 880 6666. Or just send a text. Send the word love and then your name to 666 That's the word love, a space and then your name to triple six double three. Well, next we meet Mandy. Now, Mandy's friend Sharon has been in love with the same man for over 30 years. Oh. The only problem, he doesn't love her back. Oh. Now, Mandy says Sharon's so obsessed, she's even gone as far as to having a tattoo of this guy's face on her back. And she's actually changed her surname to his by deed poll. Let's welcome Mandy. Hi, Mandy. Oh, now, you're... Help me. Yes. My friend is hopelessly devoted to this person. Have a seat. Have a seat. <laughs> hopelessly devoted. She's got a tattoo of him on her back? Yes. Did it hurt? It really, really hurt. It really hurt? Really, really hurt. And she put up with that? Yeah, she does. <laughs> an hour oh. and a half. <laughs> OK. And how much is her house devoted to this guy? Every wall is covered in pictures of him. She's got all sorts of, like, jewellery that she wears that's yeah. got his picture in it. Uh, even teeny tiny pictures like this. Does, uh, does she ever get anything back from this guy? Um, yeah, she's ha actually had some emails from him recently. Oh, OK. Yeah. But it's kind of putting her life on hold for one person. It is, yeah. She's got no relationship with anybody. Now, you said she's got a few emails recently. It's in, what, 30 years? Yeah. 30? Just, just started getting emails from him recently. Does she talk about him? All the time. Non-stop? Yeah, well, so we, almost, yeah. Well, let's tell people who this guy is. Let's have a look at that. No, I want her to show us the tattoo when she comes out here. <laughs> we better tell everyone. We gave them a clue when we said hopelessly devoted to... John Travolta. <laughs> Come on in, Sharon. <laughs> So what does John Travolta mean to you? Oh, everything. Why? When did, it st when did you start being interested I in it? I started being a fan 31 years ago, and it all started with a poster in a magazine. Ever since then, since the poster, then I saw the movie Grease, and then after that, it's just non-stop after that. How many times did you see the movie Grease? I think only about 26. Only? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Why, what's, what's the most time you've ever seen I one? Only, of... I was only 13 then, so I didn't have much money. So, li recently, the, the most time I've seen any movie is 54, and that what? was Hairspray. Hairspray? <laughs> With John Travolta dressed as a woman? Well, yeah, I know, but it was still him. <laughs> well, so what has John Travolta got, then? Apart from oh, two legs, well, two eyes, and those Apart from him being gorgeous, he's a good actor. He can take on any role, as we know, with Hairspray. Yeah. I wasn't really pleased when I first found out he was going to be playing a woman. But, you know, after the songs and the... It was a really good movie. Oh, and you got a picture of you with him. So you met him? Yes. That yes. was the second meeting. I met him in May... Um, May 2000, that one. Yeah. And I met him in... Um, I met him in April 1990. And is he the man of your dreams, or is it oh, just... Oh, yeah, he's lovely. But he's married? Yeah, yeah I know. <laughs> he's is he's it... just like my idol, so I know he's married, and I'm, I'm yeah. happy for him that he's married and he's got the kids and stuff, but... OK, so what about real men? Not interested. <laughs> you, are you gay? I, no, 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 nothing like that. I love guys, don't get me wrong, but um, I've been in relationships before and um, I'm quite happy on my own now, so, you know. S so is it better sort of being hopelessly devoted to somebody yes, exactly. at, a, at a distance? Yeah. Pictures all over the house. I think we had pictures there. We've got pictures, I know, of what you've got. Photos of him everywhere. Everywhere. All <laughs> over the house. Is this your house? That's my house, yeah. I right thought there. it was a shop. <laughs> <laughs> I thought uh, this was a... They put that photo up. I thought that was a, a, a record shop or that's something. That's my living room. You what? <laughs> I actually thought, oh, we've got a picture of it in, in some shop. That is your living room. It is indeed. Oh, my goodness. What's that? Not your bedroom, please. Oh, no, that's the hallway. 
Do you have wallpaper or is it all John Travolta? That was pretty much all him. <laughs> right, well, let's take you back to that moment, what, 12, when you were 12 years of age, yeah. when you first fell in love with the man himself. Um, let's meet, this is a tribute act, we haven't flown John Travolta over here, I have to tell you, budget doesn't quite stretch to that. Please welcome Rob. <laughs> Go and have a seat. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what did you say? I said, come and see ya. On your lap? He's better than John Travolta. <laughs> why, why do you think he's better than John Travolta? Oh, he's nice. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Than John Travolta. Well, he's very nice, but I still like John. <laughs> you, you have to he's my top boy. Now, you have to show us the tattoo. Yes, but can I show you the jewellery first? The jewellery? Let me see. How did you get those rings? Where did they come Well, you from? see, I got them, some of them are like from Avon, and I just like dig the stones out with a pin and put pictures in. All right, <laughs> and then we've got the jacket and happening here. The uh, bracelet. The bracelet saying John Travolta. What's this? The... That one opens out with pictures oh, inside. My... Oh, you... Right, okay. What do you say to people who say, to use my do teenage daughter's language, and that's, that uh... you're well sad? Oh, I just say, well, you know, you can think what you like, and yeah. um, I enjoy, I enjoy, oh, it's my earrings. hobby. Oh, yeah, the earrings as well. Earrings. Oh, can we see the tattoo? Yes, I'll just show you. Did it hurt, this tattoo? Yes, it really hurt. How long did it take? <laughs> Extremely. It took about um, 90 minutes. Oh! Turn around there so you're in the light and they'll be able to get a shot of that. 90 minutes. Ah! Oh. Does John Travolta know you've done that? He does indeed. How did you tell him? I emailed him and I emailed him a photo of it as well. And did you get a reply? Yes, he said it's beautiful. Yes. Why John Travolta and, or not someone like David Tennant or Prince William? Oh no. <laughs> oh. <laughs> You can't even compare them, I mean, really. Well, John's gorgeous, for starters. David Tennant or yeah. Prince William, that's a bit diverse, isn't it? Yes. Don't you think you've taken the obsession a bit too far? Oh, is that, what, really is that what Mandy was saying? Well, yeah, Mandy would Thank say you. that, but uh, <laughs> I don't class it as an obsession, I class it as a hobby. As a hobby? Yeah. Um, so your hobby is John Travolta? Yeah. Oh, OK, last question, yes. Do you have any children? No, I've got a nephew. Yeah. Do you have any, any children? children? I won't like any children, no. Oh, okay. Because he won't be able to give you any. <laughs> <laughs> if you did have children, what would you name them? <laughs> John. John, probably. John? <laughs> yeah, more than likely. Really? Oh, yeah. Well, as they say, if you're not hurting anybody... Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah, have I'm not fun. getting in the way of anyone so else. So, if we know any John Travolta lookalikes out there, are you interested? Well... <laughs> ah! <laughs> that's, well, that's hard to say. It depends on what the personality is like, you see. If they've got a very good personality to go with but it. But you don't know what John Travolta's per real personality well, no, is like? No, I don't know. No. no I don't. Okay, we'll have fun, you and John, together. Oh, thank you very much. Yes, may you go on. Do you know what his next movie is? Oh, yeah, I've got the next four lined up. But none of them are coming out until next year. So I've got a whole year without any John movies. Ah, oh, yeah. you'll just have to watch my show instead. Absolutely. <laughs> I always do that, Tricia. Thank you for being here. Nice to meet thank both you. Thank you. <laughs> a secret obsession if so my team would love to hear from you you can call us on 0870 880 that's 0870 880 or you can send trisha followed by your name to triple six double three that's my name a space and then yours to triple six double three that's all we've got time for for today so i'll remain hopelessly devoted to you <laughs> bye bye take care <laughs> For the last few weeks, we've been on board the HMS Illustrious. It's the last one tonight, with a nice conclusion as we see the crew finally arrive on shore back at home. That's at 9pm. Coming up next, we're getting away from it all in Build a New Life in the Country. <laughs>